going to uh, show you how to find top dead center um, for installing a cam synchronizer. So the reason I'm doing this video after pu publishing my last video was somebody made a really good comment uh, on one of my blogs and they, and they said, well, how did you know you based your uh, cam sync on the original one you install? How do you know that it was right? And that was a good point. So um, I went through and went through the steps, which I'll show you, which is you mark your harmonic balancer and you put a compression gauge, a gauge on cylinder one to make sure it's on the um, compression stroke. Now, while this is why this is very important. So when the camshaft goes around, one of the markings at top dead center will be on the exhaust stroke and one will be on the compression stroke. And if you put a, a pressure gauge or put your finger in there, I, I find the finger thing doesn't work very well, but if you put a, a just a, a, a gauge on cylinder one, you'll know, even if it's not a good seal, you'll know when it's on the compression versus the exhaust. Um, it, the, the gauge will not move at all when it's on the exhaust stroke. While it's important is, remember the camshaft, one uh, revolution of the, um, uh, of the uh, uh, dampener or uh, when it's going around will be on the compression, one will be on, or one revolution will be on the um, exhaust. So it's important that you know that. Now in these instructions, I still didn't use the tool. I actually own one, I couldn't find it. So all that matters is when you install that cam sink, is that it's, the, the, the tab is right in the middle of that gap. So it tells the computer when the car is at top dead center. That's all that really matters when you install it. Um, they also tell you in the instructions to put it at like a 25% angle off the engine. Remember, the direction really doesn't matter. It just matters that the, the engine's at top dead center on that sensor. It doesn't matter where the actual sensor is pointing in the back. Mine's like right at the very rear. I didn't feel like fixing it. So um, again, I'll show you the instructions. Um, it's. I literally had to scrub down my uh, harmonic balancer or dampener, or whatever you want to call it, to find it. That was the hardest process of all. Um, and then all I did was rotate the engine from the bottom and um, to um, and put the gauge right here to see when you were getting a compression stroke. And believe it or not, it was off. Uh, uh, it was off, not by a huge amount. And you'll see in the video that the cam sync was off a little bit. So again, if you're gonna install a cam synchronizer, this is the, pro the preferred process to know that it's correct. And I, I thank everybody that posted on the blog. I didn't think much about it in the past. I just marked the original cam, but a good point, if you're not the original owner of the truck, how do you know that that cam sync was in the correct position?
compression stroke. Um, should be right there. Okay, the gauge is moving. Confirm the compression stroke with my um, with my gauge. So I'm on a compression stroke. Um, top dead center. My old uh, um, um, crank uh, crankshaft positioning sensor. So, as I showed you in the in the instructions, I double checked cylinder one with the compression um, on this car, which is this is cylinder one here, and double checked. Um, that was on a compression stroke. And I did that just like I said with an air gauge and I just watched it move up. I also went and marked my dampener. Uh, I scrubbed it down and as you see in the video and I marked it top dead center at zero. And so the whole goal is you would mark, when you get a camp uh, camshaft positioning sensor, it, it's just basically to make sure that it's in, uh, that it knows exactly where top dead center is. So. Um, I have the tool and I can't find it right now um, that you put over this that makes sure it stays in position when you move it down. But keep in mind what you can do is when you put this in is as you can see, see how the top spins here? You can move this. Um, you can move this with a screw like a distributor. I mean, just don't even think you can advance it like a distributor or a car or get more power by doing this. And you can move it. Now the instructions recommend it that the camshaft be facing the actual uh, sensor be facing around 22%. Uh, it really doesn't matter. The only reason they, they tell you that is to keep from searing your wires, um, like around like the distributor or the intakes where it gets too hot, it ruins the wires. That's really why they care about it. It has something to do with the actual sensor of this because all this crankshaft sensor is telling the car is where top dead center is that's all it's doing now which is interesting when I installed my original one I am off a little bit when I when I installed it by marking the original one and moving I didn't do a very good job so it was good I came back into these instructions as you can see it's off a tad bit so okay I'm gonna go ahead and fix it uh, if I can find the tool I'll put the tool on it which just basically keeps this in position um, when you drop it in so I'm gonna go ahead and fix my can shaft because I'm at, again still at top dead center and it just needs to be fixed a tad bit, not much. Now it's out. So I'm going to put it roughly back in at where it needs to go which is right around 20 25 to 30 percent is what instructions say that's where the tool makes this a lot easier to do it makes it a lot easier to put this in if you have it so we got it back in I'm gonna make sure it's right in the middle there by just rotating it a tad bit. And <laughs> okay, we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and screw it back down. 